So uh, my name's Dave Cormier. I work at the University of Windsor. I work in the Office of Open Learning. I also teach pre-service teachers, educational researcher, troublemaker, um, and I've been super fascinated to spend the last two days here learning about architecture education and a lot of the challenges that are being faced in architecture and supremely fascinated to see all the overlaps between this and some of the other things that I've worked on. So I worked uh, with the medical school for about a year. A lot of the challenges that are being faced here are the same ones that are being faced there. They're the same ones that my pre-service teachers are facing, the same ones we face culturally more broadly. And I think it is really encouraging to see people taking a hard look at themselves, like I saw here in the last couple of days, to see people thinking deeply about what their profession is for, what their role as educators are for. Fascinating conversation here at the end with students talking about what their role is, the ways in which they engage with their faculty. Some really great, I think, realizations for people here today. We had students and faculty looking at each other going, hey, we're in the same school and we don't see this problem the same way. Maybe we should talk more often. I thought that was really fascinating. Um, I think the, for me, my particular interest in coming over other than to finally meet Olga face to face and have a conversation uh, is this idea of uncertainty and the idea that I was really trying to push here in this conversation, particularly near the end, is how our acceptance of uncertainty, not we have uncertain things that we want to make certain in the future, but our acceptance that some things are always going to be a little bit uncertain is really a question of hope. We can only face the problems that we are confronted by in a society, whether it's in architecture or with a climate or with poverty or with our friendships or love, whatever, any of the important things in our society. If we expect to solve them, we will be forever disappointed. And that feeling of, um, of hopelessness, that feeling of impotence what was described here today is one that weighs on you and builds on you and it takes good people out of the fight for doing good work. Whereas if we can accept that the challenges that we're facing are uncertain challenges, that we can make a little bit better, that we can improve a little bit over here, that we can tweak a little bit and find success, find um, a kind of a hope inside of that work, that allows us to keep pushing to make do a little bit better. It allows us to get up in the morning feeling good about ourselves, feeling like we've had our successes rather than fighting a long fight that we know we're gonna lose. And I think when we look at uncertainty in education, that's the most important point.